We have to demonstrate to our people they can trust us. And we have to show up. Could you ever see doing that and embracing the union as part of it? No. Why not? The primary reason is we are in business to exceed the expectations of our customers. 100 million people come into Starbucks. The customer experience will be significantly challenged and less than if a third party is integrated into our business. And because they're not acting in good faith? Because we have, we have a different view. And, and Aaron, let's, I don't want to spend the entire time in the union. Come on. No, but just, but I, just want, I just want to understand it, because there's headlines every day yeah. about you, this is at Starbucks, but this is everywhere else as well, Amazon and, and others. But I think there's a, there's a focus on, is there, is there a way for companies and unions potentially to work together? And, and you know, given how progressive your company has been, there's lots of people who look at, at, at Starbucks. I was looking at a headline, yeah. Starbucks is a latte liberal until it's not. Well. This is, it's, it's a mean, mean headline, the National Review, by the way. <laughs> Uh, not the New York Times, but uh, but I, I say it. Yeah. I, oh, I only no. say it because I think that there's a question: Is there a way for both to live in harmony? My belief is that we have built a company that is centered around exceeding the expectations of our people and our customers, right. and that is the vision we have for the future of the company.